Hey everyone, it's Tira with Red Mason Bees. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about solitary bees. Um, when I first became a host, I had no idea what a mason bee was, or a leaf cutter bee, or even what the word solitary bee meant. Well, it means what it means. Solitary, alone, by themselves. They don't work in a hive. Every female solitary bee lays their own eggs, gathers their own foods, find their own nest. And most solitary bees, 90% of the bee population are solitary bees. And they, most of them live in the ground. Some will find natural holes. Um, leaf cutter and mason bees do not chew wood. That's a big question we get all the time. They don't chew wood. Those are the carpenter bees. Uh, mason um, use mud and leaf cutter bees use tiny little pieces of leaves that doesn't damage the, the plant um, to build their nest. And you can look at our blog um, to look at some of those images and pictures. But solitary bees are incredible pollinators um, that don't have a hive to protect, so they're not aggressive, they don't sting, they just are go about their business pollinating. Um, Looks like my bees are starting to fill up some of their holes, which is really exciting. I love watching these little bees up close, and I want you guys to take note of how much pollen is on some of their bodies. Like you literally can see them completely covered in yellow pollen, which is really fascinating, because as you know, they belly flop onto those flowers and get pollen all over their bodies. We are going to take a sneak peek inside your mason bee nesting block to see what your baby bees are up to right now. Where are they at? Are they the larva? Have they eaten all the pollen? Have they formed their silken cocoon? Okay, oh my gosh. Look at that little baby go eating the little pollen that mom left. There was another one resting it looks like. So as you can see inside the chambers, we have mud, pollen, baby, mud. And as I move down, you can see the ones in the back of the chamber are bigger than the ones that are in the front because the ones in the back have probably been that back there a couple days older, two or three days older than the ones that are in the front. So as I slowly move towards the front, oh, look at this little one. He's, he or she has made a hole in the pollen loaf. Looks like that one's resting too. It's a lot of work for these bees. There's another little one. That's a scrunched up cell. They'll eat practically the entire loaf of pollen. They'll grow then into a chubby bee have enough energy to build a silk cocoon, and then they'll metabolize that food that they've stored and it, it'll keep them alive until they're ready to emerge in spring of next year. Oh, look at that. So as you're moving, as I'm moving towards the front of the cell, you can see how much smaller they are than in the back, because these ones are newer. They're laid just probably a few days ago. They start off as an egg, and then they turn into a larvae state. So you can see it's not even touching the bottom because it's so tiny. It's just clinging to the pollen. So there you go, you guys. That is what your baby bees are doing. I'm finding a couple of blocks that still have some leaf cutter bees emerge which is a great opportunity for me to show you how teeny tiny these little tiny bees are. They are the sweetest little bees. Um, don't worry, we'll release them out here to our yard and have them pollinate and enrich our habitat out here. Um, but I just wanted to take this opportunity to show you um, how some of these little bees are emerging and how teeny tiny they are. I'll pick up a couple of them and show you. Come here, little bee. So you can see how cute they are. They are amazing little pollinators. As you've learned from our videos, leafcutter bees were the bees that saved alfalfa crops. Um, because they are so tiny, they are the only pollinator that can land on an alfalfa flower and not trip the pistil. Um, other bees and other pollinators, they can't get into it without the flower reacting and telling them to get off me. Um, but these little bees have saved our alfalfa. They're remarkable pollinators. Again, belly floppers, just like our mason bees. And it's just fun today to be able to see some of them emerging and share it with all of you. 
Um, I did get some video of them emerging and some macro lens and their eyes are unbelievable. So I will share all that with you, um, but just wanted to take a second and show you these teeny tiny little bees. All right, thanks for hosting everyone. Happy pollinating, bye.